Prince Charles is the next heir in line to the British throne, but could Charles become the oldest Prince of Wales to become king? The Prince of Wales is 69 years old and was born on November 14, 1948. Prince Charles was born at Buckingham Palace, the first child of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. The prince is married to Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall. In 2017, Prince Charles became the longest-serving Prince of Wales in history. Last year Prince Charles took the record from Edward VII who held the Prince of Wales title for 59 years before becoming king. Prince Charles was not named Prince of Wales until 1958 when he was nine years old and has this year held the title for 60 years. He has also been the Duke of Cornwall and Duke of Rothsey since 1952. Professor Peter Stead believes Charles has faced both frustration and achievement over the decades as the Prince of Wales and next in line to the British throne. Professor Stead said, on royal visits we escape from the familiarity of political debate and become aware of the entrepreneurs, farmers, designers, scientists, scholars, artists, athletes and musicians that are the essence of the new Wales. The remarkable length of Prince Charles's formal association with his principality is one fascinating aspect of decades that have been full of both frustration and achievement. The Prince of Wales will be the oldest person to be crowned in British history when he eventually succeeds Queen Elizabeth II. The previous record holder was William IV. He was aged 64 years, 10 months and 5 days when he became king in 1830. And Prince Charles holds another royal record as well. Charles is the longest-serving heir apparent, having been first in line to the throne since he was three years old, so for 66 years. The Prince of Wales advancing years has led to speculation in the past that he could abdicate in favor of his son Prince William, allowing the monarchy to skip a generation. A survey conducted for the week by Statista Charts suggested the public is not keen on the idea of Prince Charles as king or his wife, the Duchess of Cornwall, as queen. But royal expert Gil Naphet said the Duke of Cambridge has no desire to take the reins early, despite the shocking survey revealing almost half of Britons want Prince William to become the next monarch after Queen Elizabeth II rather than his father, Charles. The Prince of Wales is said to be desperate to become King of the UK and has spent his whole life preparing for the role. And if Prince Charles becomes the next British King, he will be the oldest Prince of Wales to become King through history. Prince Charles received a warm welcome in Northumberland where he kick-started a whirlwind two-day solo tour in England's northeast by visiting one of the most iconic British World Heritage sites and trying some of the local delicatessens. The Prince of Wales was all smiles when he arrived at the SIL, a national landscape discovery centre, to officially mark its opening earlier today with his wife Camilla nowhere to be seen. The heir to the throne received a full visitor experience to the unique site, launched in July 2017 and regarded by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, as one of the world's natural beauties. Clarence House said on Twitter, the Prince viewed the exhibition displays and here's how it lands year-round activity, education and events program delivers 30,000 activity days for visitors, schools, businesses, universities and community groups. The Prince who sported a great suit with a colorful tie and handkerchief, seemed positively impressed by the building's grossed roof which has been built to mimic the shapes and geology of the Great Windsill and natural rock feature. Admiring it, Charles was heard saying, Aha, look at that. After meeting the staff of the visitor center, Prince Charles unveiled a plaque officially marking the opening of the sill. The plaque read, The Sill, National Landscape Discovery Center. To commemorate the visit of HRH the Prince of Wales officially marking the opening of the sale. 12 September 2018 Charles also met with members of the staff from the SIL's 86-bed youth hostel and discussed the running of the business with them. Despite having in front of him a day packed with official engagements, the Prince took the time to meet school children visiting the centre. He could be heard jokingly asking the youngsters if they were going to be given lunch. 
and he laughed when one of the pupils enthusiastically nodded in reply to his question on whether they had learned something during their visits to the center. He and a teacher agreed that the children seemed well trained. Prince Charles later visited the famous Hexham's Farmer's Market, where he was welcomed once again by hundreds of people and Hexham Mayor Tom Gillanders. A baby holding a Union flag attracted the prince's attention, as Charles sweetly told him, bedtime, rest time. At the market, guided by Neil Brown, Northumberland County Council's markets manager, Charles met traders from the produced in Northumberland scheme, a project promoting local businesses. Enthusiastic stall owners offered the royal samples of their goods, including jam, cheese and honey, and gave him a number of goodie bags. Eli's Poppy, a trader known as Sauce Queen went as far as making a special HRH delicacy which she named Royal Blue, and consists in a combination of Cropwell Bishop Stilton, white truffle and white wine. The prince's visit continued to the birthplace of heritage gardener Lancelot Capability Brown and the Kilder Salmon Center. Charles's tour of the Northeast continues tomorrow, when he will travel to the Moreland Spirit Company's Heppelgen Distillery in Marpeth before concluding the trip with a visit to the Alnwick Garden. Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, did not join Prince Charles today. According to the royal family's engagements diary she did not have any events to attend. Camilla suffered a brutal rejection from the Queen when she first dated Prince Charles in the early 1970s, with the monarch refusing to let Camilla near her, according to a shocking claim. Prince Charles and Camilla met in mid-1971 when they belonged to the same social circles and occasionally attended the same events, including polo matches at Smith's Lawn in Windsor Great Park. They began dating around 1972. And as their relationship became more serious, Charles was introduced to Camilla's family in Plumpton, and Camilla met certain members of the royal family. However, the future Duchess was reportedly banned from meeting the Queen, with both the monarch and Prince Philip disapproving of the relationship as Camilla was viewed as unmarriageable. Christopher Wilson, a royal biographer and journalist, commented on the Queen's dislike for Camilla, saying, the Queen and Prince Philip knew everything about Prince Charles' relationship with Camilla, the Queen said I will not have that woman in my presence. Prince Philip reportedly took a more pragmatic view of mistresses, but believed unsuitable partners should be kept in the background. Speaking in the documentary series, The Royal House of Windsor, Mr. Wilson said, The problem with Prince Charles was, you are not supposed to be in love with your mistress, you are supposed to have sex with your mistress, but Charles had fallen in love with Camilla, and that really screwed everything. Historian Professor Jane Ridley noted the Queen was keen on steering Prince Charles away from dating someone deemed as unmarriageable, following the union of Wallace Simpson and King Edward VIII which led to his abdication. She said, the only thing that the royal family wanted to avoid was that the Prince of Wales should become involved in a woman who was unmarriageable from the point of view of a royal family but it seemed this pattern was reappearing. The Queen's dislike for Camilla reportedly stemmed from the fact she was not a virgin, and had former boyfriends prior to dating Prince Charles. Historian Dr. Piers Brendan commented on the issue, saying, It was absolutely vital to have on the throne someone who was a virgin, a future Queen must have no past. Author Penny Junior added, There is no suggestion that Camilla was a loose woman, but she had had boyfriends. Notably, Camilla had been dating Prince Charles' polo friend Andrea Parker Bowles, whom she later married in July 1973. Ems Jr. described Camilla as funny, outspoken, and a bit outlandish, who had lived a little compared to Prince Charles who was still very green around the ears. Prince Charles subsequently fell for Camilla big time, and expressed real sadness when their relationship eventually ended in 1973. Mr. Wilson said, Charles was young, he was red-blooded, he was a passionate man, and I think we was looking for someone who could blow him away, and the meeting of the two was like a thunderclap. 
Prince Charles nevertheless called off the relationship in January 1973 when he traveled to the Caribbean to spend eight months with the Royal Navy, and Camilla subsequently married Mr. Parker Bowles later that year. The breakdown of their relationship caused Prince Charles to spiral out of control, and he subsequently dated a series of girlfriends in his quest to find a suitable wife, according to the documentary. Mr. Wilson said, what he got was a string of arm candy, people who he really wasn't that interested in, but people who he took out because it made him look good. Charles eventually met Princess Diana in 1977 while visiting her home, Althorpe in Northamptonshire and eventually proposed to her in February 1981. Wow. Wow. Wow.